Hey everybody out there watching right now. Um, so long story short, it was I'm, I've been looking for some some land to, to do some pig hunting on, and of course every farmer that you talk to or every landowner out there they don't want you on their property either. They've had some deer hunters on their property before that didn't take care of it, or um, they just treated the property as if it was their own and and didn't want the farmer doing what they're supposed to be doing on their own farm so anyways um i got to looking and and, uh, and and talking to some people and i found out there's a lot of pigs um on some of the game lands here in north carolina uh, a lot around the yakin river i've heard up in uh caswell county there's some uh all the way down into pd area so what I thought about doing uh, was making a series of films that documents the areas uh, that does have some pigs on it. Because when I was doing my initial research um, into these areas, nobody wanted to give up any information. Um, I'm not out here trying to steal nobody's deer hunting property, or I'm sorry, locations. Um, I'm not looking to take nobody's turkey hunting locations on game lands. I'm just out here for pig hunting. My dad and I, we had several hundred acres leased down in South Carolina. We lost that lease a couple years ago and I've been trying to find some pigs ever since. So what I thought about doing was just um, walking these, 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 these game lands and trying to find sign, documenting it, and putting some videos out there for people, um, what to look for, what areas to go to, um, because myself, you know, I, I, I'm starting from scratch. I was starting from scratch when I started looking at these game lands because nobody wanted to give up any information. But I'm here to give up the information that I find. So um, I hope the next series of uh, videos is helpful to whoever it is out there looking. Um, today I'm going to start with the, uh, the game lands down here in Salisbury. It's the Alcoa game lands. It's uh, the Rowan County side of the, the South Yakin River. It, um, you have, I believe it's Second Creek runs into the South Yakin um, on this side of the river on, on the Rowan County side. There's another game land on the other side of the river um, that runs off of Point Drive that um, I'm going to next and hoping to be able to find some signs. Um, again, I hope this is helpful to, to anybody out there that's that's looking for some land to pig hunt on. Um, I will remind you um, of the North Carolina wildlife regulations that you have to hunt during an open season, whether it be turkey, deer, um, what have you, um, and you have to hunt with whatever weapons allowed um, for that, that species. So, I mean, there's there's some opportunities out there, and I'm hoping to put some miles on the boots today and see what I can find. Um, so, check back in later. Okay, so here we go. Um, I park, there's a little park in the area right off of 601, um, just before you get um, to the Second Creek Bridge. Uh, I park there, and there's a small little gate that's up. Um, you just step over that and you see there's a pretty good path leading back down in here uh, so might not be too bad starting out um, I advise anybody going on the game lands to find them a good hunting app on their phone that has parcels uh, shows you property lines I use hunt stand and it's perfect um, the free version is great no problems um, and it's always been accurate with me so yeah just Make sure you're not crossing over boundary lines and trespassing on somebody's property uh, when you're out here doing this type of stuff. But um, check back in here a little while, see what we can find. All right, so I'm only a couple hundred feet uh, down this trail from the parking location. You can see over here to my right uh, is Second Creek. And on the other side, it's uh, private property, but um, it's a nice little flat area over there uh, and then over here to my left is just a big swampy area I mean it's prime locations for pigs to be especially in the summertime um, when it's hot and they're of course you know they can't sweat so that's the only way they can cool down 
Um, I'm assuming that it stays pretty wet down in here even during the dry months of the summer. And uh, I mean, there's lots of deer track. This, this path is used by deer just as much as it is humans, it looks like. All right, so I've got about a quarter mile back in here and um, you can see the trail starting to get a little bit smaller. So um, probably your deer hunters, some people who don't like to, to hike that far have probably stopped off. I mean, there is plenty of deer sign back in there, plenty. Um, but that, that location there is going um, back up through the middle of the property. Um, the creek is still over this way. I'm wanting to kind of just snake the side of that creek um, all the way down to where it hits the South Yakin. Um, and then I'm gonna work my way back through and probably come back out on this trail. But I'm just trying to find um, some sign down here in these bottoms um, and then cut my way through some of the woods and see what I can find. Okay. Um, gotten a pretty good ways back in here now um, I've got the I got second creek over here to my right still uh, you can see some some green grass um, growing still here in the winter time and over here to my left is a nice thick patch of uh, pine trees and then farther back behind me is some, uh, some hardwoods uh, real nice thick location for some pigs to be haven't seen any true sign of them just yet um, but I will tell you I've, I've passed a couple more little swampy marshy locations um, walking back in here that looks to be a little low because you can see up in the trees uh, how high it normally gets so I don't even know if walking through here in the rainy season if it's if, if, if you can even walk back in here um, I will say that um, Luckily, I was smart enough to grab my rubber boots, my knee-high rubber boots, um, because there is some, some mud and some water you gotta traverse through, um, right now at least. But um, make, sure you, make sure you grab some of those before you start back in this way. Um, so, just a word of the wise. All right, I'll check back in here shortly. All right, so I'm a good ways back in here. I'm almost to the river now. Um, and it's just a thick swamp right over there to my left. But I did pick up a game trail um, running parallel with the creek here. And um, seen some old sign of some rooting going on by some pigs. But definitely, um, I'll just get a little bit closer here. You can definitely see some pig tracks. Um, as if you can pick it up or not. But these definitely aren't deer. Um, I got that rounded, that round, round curve to it. Um, short and kind of stumpy, the best way to describe their hooves. But um, it's leading, you know, right along the side of the river up through here. Um, so hopefully I'm, I'm getting pretty close to where some, some would be. Again, um, late spring into the summertime. I don't, I wouldn't want to be down here without any uh, some snake boots or some gaiters or something on. Um, just another another tip for people trying to come down here and get some pigs during turkey or early deer season uh, So I'm gonna keep on hopping it down through here and see what uh see what else I can can find Here's something might interest y'all out there um, So you got the creek right here and if you look coming off that creek there is a real defined pathway leading through here Going over this log is still wet. Um, looks like a beaver has been out here um, dragging brush down to the creek. Um, I'm not real certain that this might just be some type of beaver pond out this way. Uh, could possibly be they've, they've made a dam somewhere and that's where all the water is getting trapped. But I mean, this is one of the most distinct drag marks you'll see coming through here. And there's beaver tracks. Um, as far as you can 
can see all the way down to the creek there so they're dragging dragging brush and stopping water any way they can so i've come across several of these little uh low laying areas like this um it looks like dried up creek beds um and i'm certain that uh, whenever that that creek gets up fairly high uh, this is probably all underwater uh, just because how low it is and how close it is to the creek so it might make it a little bit more difficult for people trying to get across um, i'm gonna mark this spot right here where this tree's falling over so i can uh use it as a crossing in case there is a uh, you know if it's really wet come springtime when turkey season comes around So here we are. We've uh, we just got down to the uh, the point here where Second Creek uh, meets the South Yakin and goes down that way around that little wa rock wall right here across the river is the point to the other um, side of the game lands for Alcoa and uh, on, you see the South Yakin goes um, on up that way. So here we are. And, uh, when I was walking back down in here, I found some, some real old sign of some rooting that's been going on. But uh, nothing fresh right now. But definitely signs that there has been some pigs down in here. You can see right here some, where they've been rooting around. Tearing up the ground like they, like they always do. Okay, so I've got the south yakking. Um, on my right I'm keeping the water to my right because that's the that's the boundary line for the game lands and um, there's a little knoll right there and a, some, some thick bamboo reeds whatever you want to call it right there so I got back down here towards the swampy area and uh, well you can see right here uh, I mean they've been in here thick looks like a, a tiller's done run through here tore up the ground you know that's that's what they do they come in here and root and root and root and get up anything they can find so i mean this is this is a really good sign here so again i'm gonna mark this on my my gps and um hopefully be able to put the coordinates on the on this video for y'all so again i had to cross this little creek um I've got a creek and a little bit of strip of land right there, then the river over that hill. But down here in this swampy area, again, they've, they've definitely been out in here really tearing the ground up. Um, it's a good sign for us. I, I will remind you that if, if you've got a kayak or a flat bottom john boat, you can access this real easily um, from the South Yakin River. I mean, it's, it's just right over that, that little ridge right there. So, I mean, you could be down in here pretty quick. Uh, <laughs> be a lot shorter of a drag uh, to carry one out of here. But, again, there's there's lots of sign back in here. It's, it's really, really, uh, it's, it's some good sign. Yeah, just take a look right here. I mean, this, this is pretty fresh sign right here. Uh, but they've been out here rooting. And it's still, it's just barely getting dry on the surface. Again, you got that swampy area right there. And then the river right there on the other side of that, that ridge. Some really good sign. Looks like there's a decent little game trail leading through that way. So I'm going to follow it up the river and see what I can find out. All right, so I'm still following the, the river upstream um, right there to my right. And it's uh, starting to get real thick again with some woods. And I'm not seeing as much sign, but that swamp, um, swampy area is right over here to my left. So I'm gonna try to work my way a little bit closer to it um, and work my way around it and uh, see if, if that's where the, the pigs are, are going through. 
all right so again it's it's pretty dried up through here the swamp's way back over that direction um, but i'm still over here on the side of the river and just a, a, a little warning walking through here before daylight be real dangerous there's a bunch of these i guess you would just call them sinkholes but i don't know how many of these i've passed um i don't really know what what they are but some of them are really deep some of them are really shallow but it's it's enough to mess a knee up or twist an ankle but i come upon this one and you can see it was a huge yellow jacket nest there's still one sitting right there on it um I'm trying to zoom in he's he's still sitting there see a yellow jacket or a horn and i'm not gonna get too close to it because i really don't care to find out um but something's dug it up and um tore this nest up pretty good probably a skunk or raccoon or something but there's a bunch of these holes out here so just be careful when you're walking i mean they're they're everywhere So guys here we are we're still along the, the river here um, and part of hunting is just enjoying the outdoors just getting out getting to see things uh, take a look at this massive dead tree here and all the ways it, it forks off it's just amazing it's like part of it's dead but the, the rest of it's uh, still alive how I don't know but I mean it's just it's massive the size of this tree and, the, and just the way it branches off and goes way up in there but I thought y'all might like that All right, so I've gotten to the, the northern end of the property, we'll say, and uh, I stuck along the river the whole way, and I saw plenty of sign. Nothing as good as I saw down there at that point uh, where the second creek and South Yakin runs together. But um, I'm going to make my way through uh, the property here. Uh, and it looks pretty thick, but I'm going to see what I can find. But it's still that low, low land um swampy area looking um we'll see what kind of sign i can pick up uh this is when um some type of gps uh app will come in come in handy because i'm gonna have to be aware of my uh my property boundaries uh, so that i'm not trespassing on anybody's property but um, i'll check back in, in a little while all right so here we are we're in uh getting close to the center of the property where it looks like it's the most swampy um this is a little little marsh that i found um swamp marsh whatever you want to call it but uh there's definitely been some pigs in here uh you see right here where it's all muddy where they've been wallering um i mean heck it doesn't matter what time of year it is what the temperature is they're still going to get in some water if they find it but uh, yeah they've been in here for sure I'm going to keep on busting it through here, through these woods and stick in this little swampy, marshy area and see what I can find. Alright, so there you have it. Um, we're back at where this, uh, this heavy trail was at. Um, if you remember, I forked off to the right where it went to the left up that little hill. So we're uh, 
pretty much at the end of it right now and uh saw some signs saw some good signs and well i'll just give my assessment when i get back to the truck okay so i just got back to the truck and uh I'll give you a little bit of a rundown of everything that uh that i saw um first thing uh you, if you recall, I didn't stay to that that one path that went to the left. I went to the to the right and stayed alongside Second Creek all the way down until I got to the South Yak, and um, it was probably about a mile down Second Creek before I started seeing some real pig sign. I saw, um, and by pig sign, I, I mean just just tracks. Um, the closer I got towards the South Yakin River, the more rooting I started seeing. Um, and if you recall, as soon as I got right there to that point where the two connected is where I saw uh, a lot of heavy sign, a uh, lot of heavy rooting, fresh rooting. Um, and then um, I made made that, that left um, and started going up river of the South Yakin and uh continue to see a lot of rooting a lot of pig sign a lot of tracks um, a lot of good game trails and probably i'd say about halfway up when you, right before you start making that bend uh, where the river starts to make that bend is where i kind of stopped seeing sign um, i went a little bit farther past that and then kind of cut right through the middle of the property um, and when i did uh, you know, I found a couple of logging trails, some deer stands. Um, you can tell people readily use certain areas of it, um, but mainly towards the middle um, of the property, uh, it, it's real marshy, real swampy, and that's where I saw the majority of the pig sign. Um, you know, it 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 had all of the the prime things to look for when you're looking for for pigs. Uh, it had lots of lots of water. There was some um, some flowing water, some some creeks, some small creeks uh, through there. Lots of cover. Um, I'm sure you know in the in the fall, you know all those hardwoods that's down there is going to be putting off a lot of acorns. Um, so there's a lot of a lot of mass down there for for the pigs. Um, but yeah, if if you were if you were going to hunt this location, um, I'd get I'd focus towards um, that area down right there at the point right where the two the creek and the river meet, and um, kind of just go diagonal from from that little that little ninety degree point right there. If you cut diagonal through into the center of the property, you're going to see a lot of pig sign too. Um, so I would, I'd venture to say that um, if you were down here during turkey season, uh, late afternoon, you you probably see some messing around. Now I didn't see anything today, um, mainly because um, I was trampling through there pretty heavy. I, I was just looking for sign, looking to see if pigs really were in this area. Um, found that. The wind was blowing real bad, which was probably bad to be down in those swampy areas with all those dead trees, but um, I made it out, so that's good. Um, if if I were to grade this area, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd give it a C, C plus. Um, it looks like some good prime area to uh, that would hold some pigs. Um, again, it's got everything pigs want. It's got water. It's got cover. It's got food, um, and again, the, pigs pigs can swim. So I mean, there's it's nothing for them to cross the river and be on the other the game land um, over there off of Point Point Drive, um, which is where I'm hoping to go next. Uh, but again, they're they're going to be following water sources, um, and they're they're in there. So I mean, it, it's a good sign good sign um, I, I will say that the hunters who are going to be going in on foot are are kind of at a slight disadvantage to those who've got kayaks canoes 
um, some John boats, whatever, because um, that cr Second Creek and South Yakin River, um, they all have access points where you can put in boats. So, you know, what takes us two miles of hiking to get to, they can be, you know, they can be on their boat and, you know, land it there on the, on the, the shore somewhere and walk right to the area we need to be. Um, so we are at a slight disadvantage, but hey, it's part of it. Um, my GPS said I walked 8.3 miles a day, um, which is good. Uh, I covered a lot of ground. I was looking everywhere I thought I could find some, but it um, gives me a good feeling. And you know, I'm, I'm gonna definitely try this um, a couple afternoons during turkey season and, and see what I can find.